tutorial on how to set up Docker Community Engine on a fresh install of Ubuntu on AWS. So I'm going to be using the Docker image from the AWS Marketplace. You can get access to this. So if you look in the description of this video, you'll find a link to the different versions available on AWS. So what you're going to do is continue to subscribe choose uh, your VM size so I'm just going to go for the default and then this will go ahead set up a fresh Ubuntu base VM with the docker community engine already installed and you, then you just simply log in and get started so I'm just going to pause the video while that runs okay so that is done so we go to continue to configuration just leave all the default options continue to launch so I've gone for t2.medium for the EC2 going to use my default VPC settings in my subnet I'm not gonna I'm gonna choose to do my default security group that I've got set up and then key pair you should have that already set up if not you can create a key pair in ECT EC2 rather this is so we're going to be using SH SSH to uh, log in using putty so click launch that will then go off and set up so I click on EC2 console this will take you to the console and here we just wait for it to say say it's ready so I give that a couple of give it a minute or so okay so that is up and running now so just need to log into it so I'm gonna grab the IP address on it and I'm gonna use the putty client which is a free download if you don't have it installed just google putty download and it will take you to it so I put in the IP address and then under this section SS, SSH auth and then you're going to want to put your AWS private key and then open and then you'll get the login terminal and you're logged in so just to confirm that docker is running I'm gonna do a test to pull to run the hello world uh, image see if it pulls it down and runs it And any minute now it should pull down there it is that successfully pulled down the hello world image from the docker hub and you're pretty much ready to go and that's it if you have any questions or issues about getting this up and running just leave a comment below and if this has helped you please hit a like and subscribe i'd uh, really appreciate it thanks very much